I feel that everyone needs to know how to make food, because you never know when you're going to get abducted by the mafia, and they force you to make food for them for the rest of your life. You know, little things like that are annoying. So I've made this video to prepare you for when we come, I, I mean, uh, if you do get abducted. Not, not by us, that'd, that'd be silly. The first thing you need to learn about is the different tools and utensils that are used in cooking. I know y'all aren't retarded, so I'm just going to include the things that people don't really know about, but are still extremely important. Don't be surprised if you don't know what I'm talking about, because quite honestly, neither do I. First of all, we got the bread knife, and you know what it does. It cuts bread. And then there's the paring knife, which, which cuts pears, o only pears. I don't see why you couldn't use it for something else, but, but there you go. After that, you got the straight edge spatula. There isn't much to say about this one, except, well, uh, it isn't gay. It's straight. Another thing we have here is the kitchen shears. I mean, I've only ever used shears on sheep in Minecraft, and I can't find any sheep in my kitchen, so I'm not sure what it's used for. The fifth thing here is the grater, and you know what they say. There's nothing greater than the grater. We have another spatula, except this time I don't know if it's straight or not. I'm not going to assume anything, though. People get really sensitive about these things nowadays. So there are these things that look like brass knuckles. Uh, here, here they are. Brass knuckles are pretty cool. They're a lot better than just using your fist. That's all the kitchen tools for you. I hope you'll learn something new, because if you didn't, then you already know how to cook and this entire video is useless. The next thing you need to learn is kitchen safety. You won't have to worry about long hair because we'll cut it all off when we kidnap you. Wait, oh, who's calling me? Oh, it's, it's, it's the boss. I guess I have to answer. Hello, boss. Did I not do a good job when I was laundering the money for you the other day? No, that was okay. The sheets are nice and clean, and you remembered the detergent this time. Thank you, boss. Those clothes are my pride and joy. But that is not why I called. This has to do with our new evil plan to get a new cook. Yes, sir. That plan's going pretty well. But you have told them of our plan, you simpleton. You just told them we were going to abduct them. You moron. If this continues, I will have your head. But I like my head, sir. Then you better get back to work. Uh, okay, sir. Right away, sir. Well, uh, anyways, we will not abduct anyone, and definitely not you. And don't go spreading the word or anything, but, uh, uh, kitchen safety, yeah. Did you know that the most dangerous place in the house is the kitchen? That's why we'll be, uh, hiring several cooks, because they need to be disposable. One of the main reasons for them being so dangerous is that they have knives. They hurt if you get stabbed. And there are also stoves. They hurt a lot when you touch the fire. Have you ever burned yourself? Because I haven't. What do I look like, an imbecile? Apparently sponges are dangerous too. I have no idea how, but this site that says they are. You should either wear an apron or an iron chest plate. Either works fine. Remember that microwaves are really small, so you can easily jump over them at the beach. But if you see a jumbo wave, you're in trouble. The next thing you'll have to worry about is food safety. This might sound similar to kitchen safety, except this time, there's more food involved. The one thing you have to remember is that you have to remember several things. Whenever you're cooking meat, you use a meat thermometer. And when you're cooking vegetables, you use a meat thermometer. And when you're cooking eggs, you use a meat thermometer. But when you're cooking fruit, you use an ear thermometer. One of the biggest things you have to learn about cooking is how to read a recipe. Wait, sorry, uh, English, stupid language. Recipe, I'm sorry. They are important because, uh, what is this? Uh, Recipes are important because they contain the information necessary to make a dish properly. As with any set of instructions, you rely on them to give you all of the information you need. Recipes also help control costs. Restaurants depend on their cooks to follow recipes so their food costs stay in line. Me and you are both experts on recipes now. So that was my extensive lesson on learning to cook. You are now fully qualified, and you can now put yourself in a bag, lie down in your driveway, and we'll come pick you up. You can start working immediately, and we will pay you. I, I lied.